Hi, Python IDA tools maximize it. This one is a tricky problem to understand, but once you understand the problem, the solution is pretty simple. I'll go to the sample input and explain the problem there. The first line defines the number of lists we are going to use in this problem and the number we are going to perform the module operation. If 3 is the input, we are going to get 3 lists from the user and within the 3 list, the first number defines the number of items in the list. If uh, the first number is 2, the list will have 2 items. If the first number is 3, the list will have 3 items. If the first number is 5, the list will have 5 items. Our objective is to pick up one number from each of these uh, three lists, perform sum of square of those three numbers and do a modulo operation on the result with 1000, which we got as input from the first line and identify which combination of these three numbers gives the highest value after performing the modulo operation. In this example, if we square the three numbers 5, 9 and 10 and perform modulo operation with 1000, it gives the result 206, which is the highest of all combinations. Remember, selecting the highest number from the list and perform the operation on them doesn't necessarily give the highest result, so we need to check for all possible combinations. Now let's go to the code. Now let me take the first input and the input we are getting it as k and m. So I'll use uh, k comma m is equal to input and input is in this format so I use a split function dot split and the split function will split these uh, values and store it as a uh, list and it will be in string format so I'll convert those string items into integer items by using a map function map of int and I'll pass the input uh, values. Now this will give a map object. I'll convert that map object to a list by passing it to a list function. Now we will have k and m as list. So let me print this uh, k comma m and see the output. Yeah, so we got 3 and 1000. Now we will get the remaining list by looping through k. For item in range of k, uh, let's just uh, take input and uh, we'll print the input. Also, we will do the uh, same operations we performed for the first line. Uh, let's split this input and uh, we'll pass this input to a map function and we'll convert the items to integer. And we'll convert this map uh, item to a list passing it to a list function. Now let's uh, print it and see. Yeah, so we got the uh, required uh, output. Now within this list, we only want to use from the second item. So I'll do a list comprehension here. We'll start from the uh, index number one and we will go till the end. Okay, let's run the code. Yeah, now we got the required items. So I'll start the first item in the list and go till the end. Let's uh, run the code. Yeah, so we got the required output. Now instead of printing this output I'll store this in a list so I'll call this list lines and I'll append each of these uh, items 
append and I'll initialize the list lines is equal to list so let me print the lines yeah so we have a nested list of each of this uh, items that we had we need to work with now with this uh, lines I can pass this lines to a product uh, function okay so product of lines and before that let me import this product function from the module iter tools from iter tools import product cool so yeah so instead of passing lines um, I can pass star lines which means it will take each one of this uh, items uh, in this uh, nested list and it will perform a product operation so for the first uh, loop it will take 5 7 and 5 and the second loop it will take 5 7 and 7 and so on I will then convert this uh, product object to a list object by passing it to a list function and I'll uh, assign it to a list result underscore list is equal to clients. Now let's uh, print out this result. <coughs> yeah, so like I said, we got all possible combinations of this uh, three list now we will look through this uh, list and within this list we will look through each of these tuples and find the sum of square of these items let's do that for um, tuple in uh, result underscore list and i will uh, initialize sum variable to zero means a keyword so I'll use uh, total for item in uh, tuple I'll just add total is equal to total plus item and we need to find the square of this item so I'll just square this item and I will append this uh, result to a result variable so result dot append total and we need to find the modulo of uh, this total uh, so the modulo is uh, 1000 but 1000 we are taking it as m so I will replace that puzzle with M and one more thing let me initialize uh, this result list so is equal to an empty list okay so I think that's it we just need to find the maximum value of this result so print max of result and let me remove this uh, print lines yeah so let's run the code 
and we got the expected output let me submit the code and hopefully it will pass all the test cases yeah so uh, it passed all the test cases and that's the solution if you like the video hit the like button and if you like the content consider subscribing to the channel thank you